Welcome, in front of me is a Motorola Moto G84 and today I will show you how we can record screen on this device. So to get started you want to pull down your notifications by swiping down from the top of your screen and swipe down once again to extend the list of toggles. Now on one of the pages you should have a screen recording toggle. If you don't see it on the first one you can swipe to the left to show you next page. Again I don't see it right here so again swipe to the left and it's right over here so once you see this toggle you can simply tap on it start recording start it begins a countdown and from here we have a bunch of different options i'm going to pause it for the moment so i can go over the options so uh, we have a pencil right here which allows you to draw on a screen Uh, we have the color option, so it's set to black, you can change it to other colors, as you can see. Then we have the speaker right here, which allows you to choose what kind of sound will be recorded. That will include microphone, system, which is just what the device will make, both of them, and obviously mute will not record any audio. Then we can add our selfie camera, as you can see it right here, and just to kind of record this. And then we have the pause, which I've been utilizing for this video, and also stop. Now, uh, that being said, let's actually open up some kind of apps right here, so we have something to actually showcase. Let's see, do we have Netflix? Because that is a fantastic garbage to show, but we don't. So I'm just going to open up something like Contacts, whatever. And once you're done recording, click on the square. This will automatically save your recording to your Photos application, which I'll be opening up right now. So right over here. Select Allow and it don't back up. Now, to actually view the video, we're gonna navigate to the library section right here and you will find screenshots. So apparently video recordings or screen recordings precisely are being saved to screenshots. Anyway, and here you can see it's right at the top. So I'm gonna tap on it and this will now automatically start the playback. At least I think it will. Oh, there we go. Now, I was talking about Netflix, which is one of the apps that I wanted to showcase here because Netflix has the ability to block screen recordings from being able to see the content of that application. So what you end up with is fully black screen. And uh, if you ever encounter such a garbage, just know that the application that you're trying to uh, use apparently has more control over your own device than you do. Because apparently it doesn't matter that you paid for your device when companies can just you know, show you a middle finger and say, nah, you're not gonna be using your device how you want it. So if you ever encounter such a uh, case where you're recording, even though you know should have some content on it, just present you with black screen, just know that what you were trying to record uh, didn't allow you to do so. Now, that being said, I'm gonna quickly just kind of explain the reasoning for this. So typically this option, which you don't actually have the any option to turn off, uh, is designed for security reasons. Now those securities supposed to protect you. So as an example, uh, if you maybe want to open up your bank application and you need to put in your PIN and all the info is visible, if you would have some kind of uh, application that would be gathering all that info, uh, seeing the screen, what kind of PIN you're using and all that stuff, obviously that would be a massive security problem for you. Uh, so in this case, that, it's actually, that is a good thing, right? And for the most part, if you want to get something from your bank, you can always just kind of like download it. So you do have the options uh, in the application, even though it won't let you screenshot it or uh, or video record it. But where it doesn't make sense is in streaming platforms, because there is no security risks for you. It's a security risk for the actual like Netflix, for instance, because piracy. But that's about it. It's not your pr problem, nor should you actually give a single hoots about it. After all, you're the one paying. So at that point, applications are that can do this, in my opinion, are a little bit reaching over what they should be able to do. But anyway, uh, with that being said, if you ever encounter it, just know you can't do anything about it. At least not as far as I know. 
So with that being said, hopefully you found this video helpful, informative, and if you did, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.